FIFA 19 career mode, things I hate. Well, today is going to be a video, obviously, about FIFA 19 career mode. Most of you guys know by now that I love career mode, so don't get this video wrong. Don't take it the wrong way. Like, I do love career mode, but of course, with anything you love, there is always some things that do bother you, and that's what this uh, video is going to be about today. Now, all the things that I'm going to be complaining about today are in FIFA 19 career mode. I've spoken to people who have got the beta. I've done my research, so I'm not making these things up. Everything you hear me whinge about is in the current game at the moment. So if you agree with me, all I ask is that you share the video with a friend who plays career mode as well. Let's get to 300 likes on the video. And if you're new around here, I am going to be doing a career mode on the channel. So make sure you subscribe today and hit the notification bell so you get all the videos come September time. The first thing is something that should be in FIFA 19 career mode, but has disappeared from the game for a few years now. And that is the ability to request funds from the board. This was a feature in previous FIFA games, so I'm not sure why this was removed. Um, there was just no sense for it to be gone, but it's just hard now. When you need to make another signing, and then you don't have the funds in your account, and before you could request funds from the board, get a couple million under your belt to finish the signing off, these days you're pretty stuck if you run out of cash in the transfer window and you need to complete some signings or, or increase wages and stuff. Uh, that's where it's most useful, this feature. Now, for those that remember, you did have to promise the board that you would win the cup or something like that, like a, a high objective. So it did put your job security on the line as well, which was pretty cool. It didn't really affect your job too much, but for some people, they did get sacked, uh, depending on how bad you actually did. But yeah, the board could de decline your request if you have been doing bad or you, you're just too young in the position. They don't trust you enough yet. But, you know, this was a feature that was definitely useful in the transfer window, and it's something that was gone for no reason. I think if they add it back, it would be an important part of the career mode experience, but it just doesn't look like it's in FIFA 19. This next thing is something that bothers me as well, and it's confirmed to still be an issue, and that is the ghost face that some players have because EA haven't put their uh, proper real-life photo in the game yet. The next thing that I'm going to hate in FIFA 19 is the fact that I need to start a new save when I play career mode just to get the new faces from the November update. Now, as a person that loves to see player face updates and plays career mode all year, I don't want to be starting a new career mode save just to get the new faces. It just doesn't make sense why I have to do it. Now, everyone last year who bought FIFA 18 in September would have started a new career mode, played until November, and then probably had a great career mode going as well. And then the November DLC comes out with 60 new faces from the promoted teams in the Premier League and some other players like Neymar around the, around the world. But then you can't get them in your current save because it just doesn't work like that. I don't know why, but we have to start a new career mode after the November update. It's just basically like not even worth starting career mode before that because you're not going to get all the promoted team faces. I mean, unless you're doing a career mode outside of the Premier League, it won't affect you. But, you know, to people that do the Premier League stuff, it's very important to get those promoted team faces in. Um, this happened as well with the World Cup DLC, which saw many new faces come in. I had to start a new career mode for that. Pez does have data packs throughout the year where they add like hundreds of new faces and you don't need to start a, a new Master League. Everything just gets changed automatically. You log into your Master League after the data pack and you get all the new faces. I don't know why FIFA can't do the same thing. The next thing that I'm going to hate in FIFA 19 career mode is the fact that you cannot use real life managers in career mode, only the presets that they give you. To me, this absolutely sucks. The whole point of manager mode for me is to be the manager yourself or at least be a real life manager. FIFA has managers for most of the Premier League clubs and now La Liga t uh, teams as well. So if I want to be like Mourinho at Manchester United, why can't I do that? If I want to be Guardiola, why can't I do that? Instead of picking from the concept managers that the game decides that I would like to be. So, you know, I, I think even to put videos on YouTube, maybe a Mourinho career mode could be mad, like, or Ranieri, where he got sacked, and now you're trying to rebuild his career, trying to get him back to the Premier League, it would just, like, an, it would just add, like, a different dynamic on YouTube as well, but, you know, th there's no option for that this year, so no use talking about that, um, there was rumors of manager customization, though, which I reported in an earlier career mode video that I did a few weeks ago, and that's not present at the moment in FIFA 19, so maybe it can come up at Gamescom, I'm not sure, but usually whatever's in the beta is in the final build as well. I'm not sure if EA are hiding anything this year. Now, I know the ability to use real-life managers in FIFA isn't going to work for every team because not every team has their real-life managers. So we do need the concept managers, uh, maybe for those teams that don't have a proper manager. But I think EA should just give us the option for those teams that do have the real-life managers available. Now, my next point is also relevant to the manager stuff, and that is the fact that I can't use EA Gameface to create a manager that looks like me. EA Gameface 
used to be a feature where you could create a pro and you'd upload uh, images to a website of your face and then they would create a custom thing based on the images you sent them and then it would transfer over onto your game that you could use on a virtual player. Why can't we do this for manager mode? Why can't we create a manager that looks like us? Like, imagine how mad that would be. I don't know why it's not a feature. This is a big thing, you know, because manager mode is about you. The next thing that I don't really like is the fact that when you're browsing for jobs, you can only pick from what the game offers you. Why can't I just hit up Real Madrid and be like, hey, I want to coach your team next season. And then based on my credentials, if I've won any trophies, they can accept or decline, you know. That would be really, really cool. It's something simple and it definitely needs to be added. The next thing that I hope gets changed before FIFA 19 even comes out is those trophy celebrations. Oh, they are exactly the same for Champions League, for FA Cup. It's all the same animation. It's the same cutscenes, just different branding, like different trophy, sometimes different commentating because, you know, Champions League has Derek Ray, Lee Dixon. But the, the whole point is the animations are always the same. And, you know, I don't think the presentations are good enough too. Where are the medals? Uh, when you win the Champions League, how come they don't go on top of the stadium? They just stay on a little thing in the middle of the field. It's not really realistic. Um, it'll be nice to watch once, but then you get sick of looking at it after. I, I really wish they would um, revamp those trophy presentations because they're not very good. Now, there's been a theme over the last few years where a lot of career mode features have been in previous games, but then taken out for no reason and then brought back in as new features. Well, today's one is not a new feature, but it was definitely a part of older career modes, and that is the ability to uh, skip, or not skip, actually join into a simulated game. So, uh, 10 years or so ago, I remember on my PSP, being able to jump into a simulated game if things aren't going well. Let's say you're losing 2-1, it's the 60th minute and the simulation is not looking good. You can actually press a button that lets you jump in, take control of the team and see if you can recover the match. Uh, I don't know why this was taken out. I'm not sure why they actually take stuff out all the time, but it's just something that's little. But, you know, some people do simulate a lot of different types of games in career mode. And especially when simulation is pretty bad, when you're playing away against a very poor team, you have like a great team yourself, and then you lose because you're just, you're away from home, you know? Uh, if simulations were more accurate, it would, would make sense not to have this feature. But because simulations can do you dirty sometimes, this definitely needs to be back in where you can just jump into a game if things aren't looking good. Another thing that I absolutely hate at the moment in FIFA career mode is the press conferences. They are useless. It just doesn't do anything. All you can do is make a comment on the team you're versing, your own team, the manager of the opposition, or a specific player. It doesn't affect your reputation, it doesn't affect how the team plays, it has no effect on anything, and it's pretty useless. Now, it was rumored this year that there was going to be different press conferences, something like the journey where you could pick an option, uh, like out of three or four, and they would have actual people asking you these questions, and so far... There's been no signs of that in the FIFA beta or anything like that. So unless they're coming out at Gamescom, it's not going to be happening this year, boys. Um, a lot of these rumors are not uh, are not coming true at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. But press conferences definitely would help enhance career mode. But what they've got at the moment is pretty bad. The last thing I want to talk about is the scheduling. I've been sent an image. And on Tuesday, he had a Premier League game. And on Wednesday, he had a uh, cup game. And that was from FIFA 19 as well. So... The issue is still there. Now, overall, the scheduling does a pretty good job. I do see a little bit of a fixture pileup, which is a bit unrealistic at times, especially towards the end of the season when I'm still in all the cup competitions. But sometimes the game just stuffs up and doesn't give you a day off. Like, there shouldn't be back-to-back -back games. It doesn't happen in real life, and it shouldn't happen in FIFA 19 as well. But I will tell you this as a little tip. Make sure your reserve teams are strong in career mode. It's the first thing I concentrate on now, building up the reserve team, because... When you do career mode and you're still in all the competitions towards the end of the season, the scheduling can sometimes do you dirty. I've had numerous times where I've uh, played career mode. I'm in all the competitions towards the end of the season. I'm fighting for the Premier League, fighting for the Champions League, FA Cup as well. And then the scheduling just kills you, man. Like, you have to have a good second team that you can just quickly replace, you know. Uh, so you don't get done dirty by the time the end of the season comes and you, you don't lose your trophies that you're about to win and stuff. So make sure you look after your reserve team as well when you're doing your signings. Now, you may agree with me or not agree with me, but I guess leave a comment down below. What are your biggest issues with FIFA career mode at the moment? I know these things are definitely going to be in FIFA 19 as well. Judging by the things that I've spoken to with people, you know, the, the, the core fundamentals of career mode have not changed between FIFA 18 and FIFA 19. And in my last video that I did, I just tried to show people that there is incremental updates that are still worth uh, buying FIFA 19 for. 
it's different to FIFA 18's offering, but if you're really looking for new features that are going to be game changers, then you definitely have to wait maybe till FIFA 20, FIFA 21. I don't know what's going to happen, but yeah, you're not going to find it in FIFA 19. It's not going to be like Football Manager. So I do hope it gets a really big boost for FIFA 20. It's just way too late to complain about it now for FIFA 19. And uh, it's like pro clubs as well. We, we left the movement a little bit too late. So you're going to have to wait another year. But it's good that everyone complains because finally they might actually listen. If you want to see some FIFA 19 new faces, then follow me on Instagram at Vapex Karma. And if you want to watch another video, tap the thumbnail on the screen right now. If you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. And I'll see you next time.